Well, welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java, where we answer your fundraising questions. This channel is designed specifically to present topics in development and fundraising to help nonprofit leaders increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. If that's something you like and you'd like to find out more, please consider subscribing. Just simply click the subscribe button below and be a part of this ever-growing community that is seeing great things happen in our world and throughout eternity. And we just are so glad to have you as part of this channel. I'd like to jump right in now to our first question. Our first question today is from Erica in Red Bank, New Jersey. And Erica asks, is it possible to get donors to be ambassadors or to ask for us? Well, Erica, thanks for that question. That is a great question and one that I have worked through over the years. The answer is definitely yes. You can get people to that point. Not every person that you'll come in contact with will have a desire to be a representative for you or will have the abilities, the talents, the skills to be ambassadors for you. But there are individuals who can and are willing to be representatives or ambassadors for your organization. A board member should without a doubt be an ambassador or an advocate for your organization. They need to be out front, they need to be taking speaking engagements, they need to be speaking on your behalf. If you have donors or partners who are willing to speak on your behalf, that is is uncommon but is extremely valuable and it's one of those rare things that you need to develop now one of the biggest challenges that I have found with organizations is that they will have people willing to be ambassadors willing to be representatives willing to make phone calls or have appointments with donors for and on behalf of the organization. But those individuals are not trained adequately. As a result, they don't have good outcomes to, to their time and they end up getting discouraged very early. So if you have got individuals who are willing to be ambassadors to make it and ask on your behalf, you need to make sure that those individuals are trained properly. They need to be, be trained to be able to develop a relationship with someone, to get an initial appointment with someone, to call someone, to talk about your problem, to talk about the solution, which is your organization, to talk about the activities, and to ask someone to give a gift, and especially to be able to tell success stories of your organization and what your organization does. Those things are extremely valuable, and you need to make sure that they have good, adequate training. And as I said, without the training, people get frustrated and discouraged. And these individuals also need to be modeled for and with. What I recommend doing and the success that I have had is that I have taken board members, I've taken donors with me on appointments. I used an example years ago of taking a donor with me on an appointment. They knew the person and so that helped to start the conversation. But the donor introduced me and then I did talking throughout the whole presentation and asked. The second time this happened, the person started putting in a few words, adding in some phrases, some things that I said earlier. By about the fourth or fifth time with this person and the modeling, I could barely get a word in edgewise. They would say, well, Jim, tell them about this. Tell, remember, remember that story about that woman whose life was changed or that student whose life was changed? Tell, tell uh, Fred about that person. And it was really exciting. I knew it was time for that person to venture out and to be able to do an appointment themselves. So make sure that if you have individuals who are willing to be an ambassador, willing to make an ask, willing to make a phone call on your behalf and start with something simple such as a thank you call. Nothing is easier or better than a thank you call and if you can get some of your board members out making thank you calls, 
it is so non-threatening. And then slowly, that gets them into the shallow end, slowly start to take them out into the deep end where they're going to have to start telling people about the organization and then eventually making an ask. But it doesn't have to start at the deep end. You don't need to throw people into the deep end without any lessons at all on how to swim. It's exactly the same way. You need to make sure that you are training your donors, partners, board members, even staff and volunteers. Train those individuals how to be advocates for your organization. Oftentimes, the one person who is neglected is your receptionist someone who fields phone calls for your organization but can't talk about the organization. They're your front line of defense. You need to make sure that they're trained and prepared to work with you in that area and can respond to questions and can be advocates for you. So that's so important. So Erica, I hope that answered your question. Uh, I would strongly encourage any of you, if you have not subscribed to this channel, we want this channel to grow. We want it to be better for you. We want it to get out to more people so we can all share in the wealth. 70% of those people who watch on a regular basis never subscribe to this channel. It costs you nothing. All you have to do is take a second and click the subscribe button below. Please do that and that would help a lot. Please continue to submit questions on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. And also be sure to go out to Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. You can reach me with questions at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And I enjoy our time together every week and I look forward to our next session. And as always, I am here to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.